does is double side, man. This, this is what, this is just a handheld, over. It's very much like a strange FM. It's bizarre, but it sounds good. I, I can't actually understand why it sounds as good as it does. It's because on the spectrum analyzer, it's not dirty, but it's extremely unusual the way it does it. And uh, what's the power output of the device on sideband, uh, Perrin, over? Uh, currently, I'm getting around the four watts. It's about four watts. The Krungsheng UVK5 is not just any $50 Chinese 2m 70cm handheld. It does a lot more beside, with some firmware that you can download and install into the transceiver. It almost gives you a whole new radio with extra functions like part of HF reception, reception of SSB signals, and even double sideband transmission on 2 metres and 70 centimetres. Hang on, go again, yeah, go again. What the hell are you, uh, Did we get you on just over a line? There's a lot of information and videos about various types of firmware that you can use with this transceiver. So I won't go into all those details here. Instead, I'll just demonstrate usage and performance. The double sideband function means that you can join people using SSB and in many cases they wouldn't even know that you're transmitting double sideband. That gives you access to people that might not be using FM, they might prefer SSB and very often they've got good antennas and good equipment meaning that your range, even if you're just using one of these handhelds at your end, can be quite a lot much more than FM Simplex. Being able to make a cheap handheld compatible with SSB by transmitting double sideband is a real price breakthrough. And it really changes the sort of equipment that you might wish to buy, especially without the Yaesu FT818, which did VHF and UHF SSB You've now got a bit more choice because you can have HF only equipment and use one of these handhelds to fill the gap for 2 meters and 70 centimeters. And just a reminder, here in Australia, this unit cost me under $50. In the US, you might be able to get it for under 30 US. So very low cost, very high function, and surprisingly good performance. 2 meters double sideband with the Krangsheng. Am I on frequency? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Da, di, da, di, da, da, di, da. Here it is in CW mode. Double side, man. This is what this is just a handheld over. I'm just gonna see if I will a bit and um, you've come up a little bit and you really sound good too on lower sideband, so it's unbelievable how they can put that package together. Yeah, it's working well, I can I can tell you that, you yeah. know. It's absolutely fantastic. What they can make for that price, you know. Yeah, I just have a look at your signal one. I'll just move the my beam a little bit. I don't know how high you got your beam up. I actually have a look at the signal strength and you know what? There's not that much difference between the signal strength on the radio you're on now and your um, your other radio, um, which was interesting. And also, I can understand you, because you're in double sideband mode, I can actually understand you on FM, uh, VK3Y, VK3UBU. Oh, 
Leaving possibly the best function to last, have a listen to this. With just one button press, this is what you get. Quangsheng UVK5 has been quite an amazing transceiver. Very, very versatile with a lot of things you can do with it. Certainly great value for money for its $50 or so that it costs me. For more information, if you want to get one of these for yourself, then I've got a link in the video description. There, you'll also find information on some of the firmware that helps you get the most from this remarkable transceiver.